What's up everyone? It is Lo, formerly known as Beauty Demon. I will be changing my banner and channel name soon, but we're just just gonna call me Lo for now. So welcome back to my channel. This is actually a quick little update video on a topic that I have been following and I did get a few messages and one tweet about this. So I just wanted to talk about this real quick, keep everybody else up to date because I also have noticed that some of my other previous videos on these topics or this topic specifically have been getting more views and comments. So that is the topic of Mia Soros and her official return back to YouTube. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. Do not go to anybody we speak about in this video and spread any hate, negativity, nothing like that. These are just my thoughts and opinions based on what I'm seeing play out on the internet. So if you have something to say about what we're talking about, Shoot it down in the comments below. That's what they are there for. Also, I tried a slightly different setup with just like my camera and where it's positioned and you get to see a lot more of the background with it. So I don't know, that's that's why this might look a little different. Also, I do film in a basement and it's a basement that is slightly sloped so it has a drain so I can't get anything to ever look straight. <laughs> and I was really struggling with that for like 20 minutes before I finally just gave up and this is what we got. Anyway, let's jump into Miasaurus. Y'all, she is back previously on Mia Soros's channel. I feel like they should have previously in the last episode. Previously, Mia had removed all of her videos from YouTube. She also followed this up with removing her channel name and her user picture. It was just a completely blank profile with over a million subscribers. And over the past few weeks, she began to trickle back onto social media. She mostly was on Instagram, which we did talk about, being more active there in stories, answering questions. Then she added her name back to her channel. But then on October 9th, she actually re-uploaded her first apology expology video, which was addressing past content and the black scent. And you know, with that public again, it did get, uh, I think maybe like a hundred thousand more views. Like a lot of people didn't know about the topic and then that video was made public. I think that's also why some of my previous videos started getting more hits again, because people who hadn't seen that then went to look for other things. Then on the 26th, she uploaded, I think it was in the evening my time. I think it was about like six-ish my time when I like went up and I saw it and I got a few comments. Thank you guys and a couple DMs, which I don't usually get people like telling me tea and things So I was like, oh my god, thank you guys So she uploaded a video and it was called coming back to YouTube. It was five minutes 45 seconds long and the thumbnail it's an emotional looking thumbnail. So it starts off with her, obviously she's uncomfortable as we all kind of were probably watching this video. She claps a lot, she swears a bunch, and I'm like, girl, in the first 30 seconds, you shouldn't be swearing in a video. It kind of is like a no-no with YouTube ads, but maybe she is not worried about, you know, monetization of this video or whatever. And you know, that's perfectly understandable with considering the nature of this video. Regardless, we're gonna move on. She hops right into the whole YouTuber. It's been a while, I've been gone for so long. You've been gone for, like three, four months. But you know, I'm sure you all have been wondering what happened? Girl, we already kind of know. You, you know, made this whole video. You made a whole second video. You removed all those videos and now you've re-uploaded one of those videos. Well, not re-uploaded, but like unprivated. So anybody who's watching this video probably has an idea of what's going on. Actually, I did see a comment where somebody was like, who are you and what did you do? So not everybody who watched it knew, but the majority. So she talks about totally disappearing, except for, remember, she was on Instagram. She took the last two, three months uh, to really focus on herself, and she knows that sounds kind of selfish, and it, it kind of does sound selfish, especially, like I said, I've been watching her Instagram. However, it's not to say people can't go out and have fun, and that's not positively working on yourself and finding out who you are and everything like that. I'm not saying this is like a justification for any of her actions. It's just funny, you know, because I've seen her out and about. And while I'm not saying she isn't allowed to have fun, it just kind of like sheds a whole different light on what she's saying right here, for, for me anyway. And just like last time in the last video, she doesn't want to make this about her. And that's kind of a catch-22 because it, it is about her and her actions, like we've said. But also, you don't want it, she doesn't want it to be about her because that makes it seem like she's a victim of her own actions when other people are the victims, not her. And that was a lot of people's problem with the first video is, yes, she was coming forward with all this stuff, but she was acting like she was the victim of her own actions. And a lot of people were like, oh girl, no. She says, I love this, she's been pondering who she is as a person and how 
her as a person makes her act the way she was. She, you know, she wasn't happy with herself and how she was portraying herself, which is a weird thing to say of portraying yourself because that makes it seem like it's disingenuine, which we know now it was disingenuine what she was portraying on the internet. And she wasn't happy with that. And she wasn't happy with the people that she was hurting with these lies and stories and fabrications that she was perpetuating on her platform. She also takes this time in the video to once again apologize to the black community because she basically made herself a caricature. And she even says she's disgusted by that, which is mind boggling to me that she's disgusted by that and, but continued to act like this and even made a video calling out other people acting like this. And she still did that and was disgusted by it. I don't know. I digress. She is disgusted by this because she doesn't want to contribute to racial discrimination. And she apologizes again to the mental health community as well. The, I'm assuming she says mental health community. So I'm assuming it's, it's kind of a blanket apology across the board because I know, I believe bipolar is the big community that she fabricated a lot of stories about being part of. But I think there was also like eating disorders. Some people talked about the fact and I've never seen this because once again, all of her videos are gone, but she did at one point say that she had colon cancer and lied about having cancer. So everybody's like, where is the apology for this? But I cannot confirm that. She said, you know, she had some issues, which I think she means is her lying. And it was wrong for her to showcase her issues on this public platform like that. Like I said, I think she's referring to the main issue, which is just her lying about everything that was on her channel, like period. Because of the nature of her video, she believes they they have no place on the internet at all anymore. Even if there is positivity in the topic being discussed or the message being brought forward, there is just an underlying tone of racism based on her portrayal of just being this caricature in it. So regardless of what's happening in the video, what she's talking about, it's still got an underlying tone of racism just throughout the entire thing. And then she even says it's not even underlying tone, it's just like bubbles up to the surface. And I, I would agree with that. And moving forward, she wants to show that she's changed. She's She's gonna start uploading again and she actually said she's gonna upload like next week so if this was like Saturday I don't know if she's gonna upload this week or not I'm not really sure but once again she does state that any money she's gonna make she's gonna be donating I think half of it to uh, charities that help the communities that she has affected through her fabrication and lies also wants to spotlight any creators of these communities on her channel which this is all a good gesture in my opinion I mean I don't really know how many ways that somebody can overcome like what what she's been perpetuating online for so long, so I guess this is a good place to start. Ends this all with a big thanks for everybody to watching. It was just very polite and says that she will be giving life updates to show us all who the real her is so we can all really get to know her. It was just kind of like weird to for her to say that. I will say I left this video feeling like Things were unsaid. She did have the previous video up, you know, for context and everything, which is helpful because she didn't really say a whole lot in this video about what she was like apologizing for in the first place. It was kind of like piggybacks off the first video. In fact, she kind of is dressed the same as she is in the first video, but she kind of dresses like that anyway. But like I said, at least she had that other previous video up so people could go and check context. Not that that video was very well received anyway, so I don't really know if I'd want to direct people back to that either. This video, what it really felt like to me was like more of a ripping off the band-aid of coming back to YouTube, essentially. She, you know, she misses YouTube and she knows she's gonna have to come and face the music as we've seen other creators who skirt around and ignore whatever their controversies are. It ends up blowing up in their face l later and she's actually even, you know, been critical of people who have done this sort of thing. So she surely cannot come back and repeat that stuff. And you know, I do think that she does feel remorse for this sort of stuff. She says she's working with therapists. I truly believe that. I kind of wonder what her therapist thinks about her coming back to YouTube. But anyway, the comments though, they were actually pretty positive, like overwhelmingly so. Several of them actually said they didn't realize that she was gone. That was awkward to read. But most of them were along the lines of, so happy you're back. You know, you're so mature. You have so much integrity for taking accountability. You know, stuff about people growing and changing and moving forward in life or we all make mistakes. It, it was something thing along those lines or it had aspects of all of those things mixed into but that was the majority of the comments they were overwhelmingly positive and happy that Mia was back oh, 
freaking cat hairs, I swear to God. Um, there were a few random critical comments, but they were a lot more few and far between. It wasn't easy to find these. Now, I'm not part of any of the communities that she has affected and offended and hurt along the way. So none of these apologies are for me to accept at all. Regardless of that, it still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I do think she is making positive steps. In the end, it's not for me to accept this. Like I said, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth, so it will leave me questioning her words and her actions and how genuine her actions are and how genuine she is. I am curious about what her content moving forward will be like. We're really gonna get to see the real her, what this is all about. I assume that the response to her future content will be pretty positive mostly just based on all the other comments that I've read in the previous video. We'll see if she actually makes changes to herself and she has positive growth moving forward. Now, somebody in the comments, this was one of the critical comments I did read, they said, you know what, I don't care if you come back, that's fine, but it kind of feels, and I don't remember what their exact words were, but essentially that it feels kind of wrong for her to come back to this platform that has over a million subscribers and continue to rake in those views when she built that whole million subscribers off of this, essentially what she even calls racist content. Because she has over a million subscribers, YouTube doesn't know, you know, how she's built her content and how she's built her audience and they're gonna push this stuff to people. So they felt like maybe if she's gonna continue making content, she should perhaps make a new channel and start new and grow from there. And I thought that was you know, interesting, valid point that they made. Does she really deserve to have those million followers because she built it up in a certain way? She built it up on content that she doesn't even agree with anymore and is removed from her channel. And quick update, as I was editing this, I saw she had actually unprivated several videos. I'm assuming these are ones that had sponsorships attached that she originally justified for not getting rid of in the first place. But yeah, but I guess we will see if Miasaurus has changed, if she is going to contribute positively, which it seems like she wants to. I hope she does good research with the charities that she is gonna be donating money to because there are a lot of scam charities out there to maybe talk to other people in the communities that she is wanting to donate to and to see where they think that money should be allotted to. Anyway, that is it for today's video. If you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please, if you are interested, check out my second channel, Nostalgia. It will be listed in the link tree thing down below is where I, you know, dive into all things fun and nostalgic and cool and thrifted. And I will see you guys in my next video. Laters. Bye.